Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we had a question on one of our videos and they were asking the nav bar at the top. They wanted to have it a regular color when you're at the top of the page. When you scroll down the page they wanted to have a gradient in there. It's pretty easy to do. If I scroll this page you'll see a gradient pop in. Just like that. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. If we look at our customizer, to get to your customizer, go down the dashboard, appearance and customize. That will bring you this page right here. If we look at our he header and navigation, we've got our primary menu up here. At the top, when it's stationary at the top like this, this is our primary menu and it's white. When we roll down, that's actually our fixed navigation right here and you can change the color by just going in here but it'll only let you put a solid color in so if you want to put a gradient in there we need to investigate with a bit of coding I'm going to refresh this and that gradient should disappear let's go back and we'll just refresh this page and while I'm here I'm going to go over and grab a CSS gradient I'll put this link below the video if you want to create your own gradient just click on a color, change the colors to whatever you want here. Let's perhaps put a purple in, make it a little bit, bit pinky purple. And the bottom color, at the moment it's a solid white. Let's make it a light blue or something crazy. It's more of a green there, isn't it? Okay, I'll pop it down here, it's fine. But I want it fairly light in color. Okay, once you're happy with your gradient, you can make it linear or radial. Let's pop it to radial, just for a bit of fun. The code will be down here. But we don't know where to put it yet, so let's investigate. I'm going to go back to my customizer. Now it's reloaded. You'll see that gradient's disappeared there. If I, roll, if I just select the nav bar up here, I'm using Google Chrome with the Great Inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Google Chrome is a free download. Okay, and it's selected it. It's our main header here. But when I scroll down, it should come up with a different class down there. Let's try it. There we go. Yeah, it's come up with a class now because we're no longer looking at the primary menu. We're looking at the fixed. And the class name is ET Fixed Header. So what we want to do is copy that class name. I'll just double click on it. It'll highlight it. Control C to copy it. Then we can either go to our theme options page or we can just go down to the bottom right here where it says additional CSS and we'll put a title in. Always a good idea to put a title in when you're writing a lot of CSS. Let's drop down a couple. I'm going to say forward slash star star forward slash and anything you write in between the two stars there will not be read as code so it's great for titles and notes and things. And let's say navbar gradient whatever it is you want to, want to say and it's got to make sense to you okay we copied that class name just now so let's drop down a couple all class names need a dot or a period in front and again I'll put this CSS down below if anybody needs to use it it's class name so dot or period then paste the class name we just copied control V to paste we'll open and close some curly brackets and inside we can now put that bit of code that we got from our gradient generator here and we can just copy this well they got a little copy to clipboard button there go back to our customizer and we'll paste that in and there it is as we scroll down it's already done it for us if I go back up to the top it turns white again really simple to do like I say it's one little bit of code and you can generate your own gradient whatever you want back in there but that's pretty easy to do and once it's published we're good to go if I go back to this page and refresh and go down the page as you can see it's turned to that nice gradient color again back to the top and it's back to the original color so there you go there's how to add a gradient background to your Divi theme navbar little bit of coding but really easy to do like I say I'll put that code down below if anybody needs the class name or wants to use that gradient and I'll also put the 
CSS gradient generator down there for anybody that needs to generate one. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Pretty short and sweet video, but if you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.